Hey finders and welcome back to my second ever beauty roundup video. I'm going to be touching upon the products that I introduced to you guys in the month of March. It is now April, my favorite month because I am an Aries. I'm an April baby. I'm going to be 29 years old. I'm so excited and I cannot wait. I had an idea last year that for the month of April, for my birthday month, I was going to base the month on my favorites because it's my birthday month. Why not talk about happy things that make me happy, products that I love, products that I can rely on. It was like the month of my friends, like a month of just talking about my friends. So I think that's what I'm gonna do a lot of in April, full face drugstore favorites, full face high-end favorites, like stuff like that. I'm gonna do some favorite skincare products. It's just gonna be a lot of happy things. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel and also click that bell. This way you get a notification whenever those kind of videos go live. Enough about me, enough about my birthday, enough about all of those things. Let me just ask, how are you doing? What are you doing today? How is everything going? How is your life? How are you living? Let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Did you subscribe? Did you click the bell? Oh, okay, good. Since you did, let's hop right into it. This is quarantine day, 17th day in quarantine. Hi, how you doing? Can't wait to see what a month does to me. All right, I said we were gonna start talking about the products, so let's start doing it. All right, beauty roundup, here we go. I did not do a wear test on this, but ever since introducing this to you guys in this video up here, I don't know. I don't really love this. I don't really hate this. I'm kind of on the fence about this. Oh God. All right. I'll just pull it out for you. Just to pull it out for you. This has a doe foot applicator. Do not whip it out. Do not whip this out because this will go all over you. I cannot tell you how many times I was in a rush. I sat down to do my makeup before going to work. I was dressed because I always do my makeup after I'm dressed which maybe I should change that up. And I whip it out and then I get foundation all over me. It stains my clothes, goes everywhere. What I do like about this is the packaging. It's nice, it's squishy. It does not come in a glass bottle as the majority of my other foundations do. This gives a nice satin finish, not too dewy, but not matte at all. Let's see, I leave here at like 7.15, 7.30. And then I would say by like two o'clock, it kind of moves on me regardless of whether I powder or not. It would collect around my nose, on the sides of my nose, and on my chin, which are my troubled areas. So it does collect. It's not super long wearing. I would not recommend this for like an event. This is more of like a daytime, like go to work foundation. If you have oily skin, I don't wanna say absolutely not. I feel like that's so rude, but that was just like what I was going for right there. If you have oily skin, I'm just gonna say it, absolutely not, do not buy this because it will move even faster, it will move even more, and it's really just gonna slide off your face. Another thing to note about this, and then I think we need to move on from you, Wander Nude Illusion Liquid Foundations. Did I even say the name of it? I don't know, and I'm the shade medium. It applies much better with a sponge, a damp beauty sponge, rather than a brush. It kind of like cakes on a little bit too much. You can see the brush strokes. I just think a damp beauty sponge disperses it a lot nicer, makes it layer on a little bit thinner. And it's just, you know, the thinner the layers, the less it will move. And if you have a product like this that moves a lot, the more layers you put on, the more it's gonna move. So just keep that in mind with this, with any other product that moves around, it's just use a sponge because I like to end on a happy note. I really like that this is a clean beauty formula. You know, this is formulated without mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, synthetic fragrance, it's cruelty free and it's dermatologist tested. If you're interested in this, I would highly recommend getting this instead. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Cream with SPF 50. If I'm using a foundation that has sunscreen in it, I don't need to put sunscreen moisturizer on. I don't love these like clean formulas, like your skin butt better, throw this on, this is all you need, yet they don't have sunscreen. You need sunscreen. Do not leave the home without using sunscreen. This is my PSA for the day. Don't leave home without using sunscreen. Will it move on you? Yes, but it will protect you from the sun as well. All right, let's move on. We spent way too much time on that one. MAC Cheer Up Glow Play Blush. I'm wearing it today. It stays on all day long. It's budge proof. It's beautiful. The color is absolutely stunning. It is so youthful. This is definitely the kind of blush that you can put anywhere. If you guys watched my video that I uploaded not that long ago, I took this, I put it on my cheeks, I put it in my crease, I put it everywhere. You can put this everywhere. It gives you a beautiful, natural glow. I do love this. 
more than I love my Honest Beauty. I mean, they're both fuss free. I have to tell you, you cannot go wrong with either one, but this one, the formula feels nice. It stays on longer. I like the color, it's brighter. I mean, they're similar. This is brighter, this is more youthful, and I just, I love the packaging. I mean, I love Honest Beauty packaging too. They have really nice packaging. I love the clear though. Anything clear, I, every makeup bag that I own, well, I should say that I actually use is clear. So I just feel like makeup and clear makes sense. This comes in so many different colors. I'm definitely going to buy some more. Um, and I just think this is a staple product, especially going into summer. Creams are beautiful in summer. They're easy. I don't understand the name of this. That is my con for this. Mac Hot Dam Damoiselle Diavignon Diavignon Extra Diminished Skin Finish. I have no idea. If you're interested in the highlighter that I'm wearing today, it is freaking beautiful. This is the Note Cosmetics Terracotta Powder in 01 Stardust. That is what I'm wearing on my face today. Let's throw some of this skin finish on top of it. They both have like a gold resemblance to them, so it's not going to be too different. They're very similar to one another. Do I think that you need this? No. Do I really love this color? Yes, because of the blush. I just think that these two pair extremely well together. You know, they both have that same pinky hue to them. I think this is very hard to get your hands on right now. I think the couple times that I tried to find it, it was sold out, but it should come back because this is a relatively new collection and I can't imagine that they're going to discontinue the spring collection when spring literally just started. I think you probably have a highlighter like this in your collection somewhere. This really reminds me of my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion 1. You guys have seen it. It, it gives like a pinky pearlescent silvery, but that one leans more on the cool tone, like silver side, where this one is definitely a little bit more warm tone. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I really like this. I think this is really nice. The only thing I'm going to say is that if you have dry skin, I have very dry skin around my eyes. It will look a little dry. It's going to make your lid look dry. It doesn't look bad unless you don't put any eyeshadow over it. But the point of this is to put eyeshadow over it. It doesn't bother me, but the first time I put this on, I was like, holy God, my eyelid skin has aged 10 years. And I haven't even put on any of my makeup yet. So just be wary of that. I do not think you need this, but I think that if you are in the market for an eyeshadow primer, this is a nice one. You can always use concealer. I would take the wand, dupe, dupe, one little spot, rub it in with your finger. And then I would just take some translucent setting powder, like the Essence Banana Powder on a fluffy brush like this, pat, 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 and then go ahead and apply your eyeshadow. It does the same thing. It saves you some money. Teddy, this is the Eye Coal Crayon. This is a brown, just a coal eyeliner. Let's put some on. It smudges out nice. It stays on nice. I just, I love an eyeliner and I love this to create a wing on top. I love this to put in the waterline and I love a wooden pencil. It's a stiffer eyeliner, which I love. I think it's easier to maneuver. It's easier to create a wing. This will last decent in your waterline. It's not gonna last as long as say, the Stila Smudge Kajals. These are amazing. Like if you need a waterline eyeliner that does not budge, that will stay on all freaking day long, then you need this. This is the Stila Smudge Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Espresso. So this is a brown. This is a retractable pencil. And I need to buy more because I'm really running out. The Smudge Kajal is a little bit darker, but this will not leave your waterline all day. If you are someone that likes a creamier pencil, we also touched upon the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner this month. I love this. I think this is such a pretty and unique shade. It's like a brownish purple, an aubergine look as Charlotte Tilbury calls the shade. It's aubergine, darling. I love Charlotte Tilbury, oh my God. She makes me so happy. Fortune, darling. Will you be in one of our Pillow Talk ads? She does not talk like that. I'm so sorry, Charlotte. I'm so sorry, Charlotte. But let me know. I would be in it. Putting that into the universe. Good vibes, good vibes. Charlotte Tilbury, one day I will work with you. I'm positive of it. This does not transfer on me. Meaning, when I draw a cat eye on my lids, I have hooded eyes, so I have those extra folds in my eyes. So when I open my eyes, I lose all, all that lid space, and also this hides in my folds. This really doesn't transfer on its own, but if you pair it with this, this like sucks and like grips on to that product and makes sure that it does 
not go anywhere. It does not crease. It does not fade. The only thing I'm going to say though is that I thought that this would smudge out. You know, like if you draw it a little crazily, and let's see if we can do it right now. If you draw it a little crazy like that, and then if you were to smudge it out, it doesn't really smudge out that nicely. It doesn't. I thought that it could kind of be used as like a cream shadow. So you just smudge it all over the lid and then take a finger and smudge it out. It's creamy, but it's not as creamy as the Marc Jacobs highliner pencils. So like this one, this is black. This one gives you a little bit more play time, I should say. So this you can really smudge out. I mean, I didn't do the greatest job with this, but you get the gist. Like that is way smudgier than this. I'm sorry, I just did an awful job. But trust me, if you're looking for a liner that you can really smudge out and play with and extend, then I would try the Marc Jacobs highliner pencils. They're amazing. I will link a video up here where I've done such a technique. This is the MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. It is right here. Beige Brown Lip Liner. I'm gonna show you some dupes for this that are more affordable. This is a little bit pinkier. NYX in the shade Natural. So very similar. This one's just a little pinkier, whereas this one gives off more of a beige. This one has more of a mauve. And then this is a waterproof lip liner by BH Cosmetics, one of my favorites. And this is in the shade Sandy. So this one is definitely in between these two with more of a pinky hue. I was trying to find my lip liner in London. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Mm, I gotta find it. I feel like it's in one of my bags, but another one that works is the shade London and that is by NYX. It is a NYX suede lip liner. I love MAC. I love the stripped down shade. I think it is beautiful. This might be one of my favorite finds that I got this month, honestly. And it mimics the shadows of my face. And I find that a lot of women that I talk to tell me that they don't really know how to pair a lip liner with a lipstick. I'm gonna have a lip liner video in April because lip liner and eyeliner I think are my two favorite beauty products at the moment. I think it's a great color to overline your lips. I think it's a great color to really make them look juicy. And with this shade and this particular color, I can overline the crap out of my lips and it doesn't look that crazy. There are certain shades where I wouldn't suggest overlining your lips too much. Today, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. That is one of my favorite lip liners as well. However, I can't super overline my lips because that shade does not match the natural shadows in my face because I don't naturally have pink shadows. So I'm wearing that today. I could have used stripped down with this look and this lip easily, but I didn't. This is the half caked lip gloss in the shade Slight Work. I was not super excited about this until I really gave it a chance. I literally, and I literally, literally, I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I wore this every weekday, Monday through Friday, because yes, that is, those are the weekdays in March. Kid you not. Since day one that I tried this, I love this. This is a beautiful gloss. It has little flecks of sparkle in it. So it really can juice up any lip. I'll put it right next to the liners and I'll put some on my lips in a moment. So it gives off a really, really nice sheen. There are little pearl pigments in it, but it's not tacky looking. It's not metallic looking. It's not juvenile looking. It's really nice. And the formula, it will last hours. Like this will last on my lips for three hours. I'm not kidding you. A lot of the time I will wear this with my NYX natural lip liner, which is right here in the middle, that mauve -y shade. I will line my lips with this and then put this in the middle and it will stay on for hours. It will literally last for three hours. It could last for four. You will feel it four hours in the sense of like, you will still feel it nourishing your lips, but it won't be super pigmented. Granted, if you go out and you go to lunch or you go to dinner and you eat a ton of food and you eat a burger, like it's not gonna last. It smells like candy and I love the doe foot. It's really, really thin so you can get in there and line your lips, but it's also stiff and flat enough. It's really easy to control and it's not liquidy. See how that just gives like a beautiful shine? Like that just made my lips so juicy. But those pearls 
really reflect light. It makes your lips look juicy, a little bit bigger. It's really nice. I absolutely love this. Well, those were all the products that I introduced to you in March and all of my final thoughts on them. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I know that my first beauty roundup did really well. A lot of you guys liked it and I got some awesome feedback on it. Do be sure to like this one so I know that you are still interested in this content. Also, be sure to subscribe if you have not done so and click that bell. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Until next time, may your makeup experiences be great. May you find some new products that you absolutely love, but more importantly, may you find some products in your stash that you re-fall in love with again. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.